Are cable cars actually good? That's what we're gonna find out today in my megalopolis of a city. I made a video recently where I completely dunked on cable cars and I got called out by Cities by Diana about them actually being good. So now I'm putting that to the test to see whether Diana was just trolling me or if there was actually some merit to her words. The first test I wanted to run was in my downtown area. I know there is a ton of pedestrian activity in this area so I wanted to give cable cars the best case scenario. I have a freeway splitting my downtown so what better way to cross the highway than to ride a cable car across it. Unfortunately, the line was so short that each station only sent out one cable car, and there's no way to adjust the number of cars that go across. That didn't seem to matter a whole lot as about 30 people could enter a car at once which seems ridiculously high for that small of a vehicle. After letting the game run for a while, here's the results from the first test run. That's quite a considerable amount of people using the cable car so maybe there is a benefit to using cable cars. The test doesn't stop here though. I decided to place four more cable car sections in the downtown area to better serve the pedestrians trying to cross the highway. While that's happening I got a comment on the last episode about the building alerts stressing you out. I told you that I fixed them and I thought I did but I guess my city had more problems than I initially thought so bear with me. I will spend the next episode of this city fixing it. That includes traffic, abandonment issues, etc. I let the game run a while to try and get accurate numbers for these cable cars. Looking at the numbers they are pretty dang good. The usage is less the farther away we get from the center of downtown which honestly makes total sense. I have a couple more locations I want to test out. The next location is near the airport. I want to know if it would be beneficial to have cable cars crossing the river to get closer to the airport. While that was collecting passengers I wanted to build another cable car closer to the airport and transport people to a busy intersection. I wanted to see what kind of effect that would have. The final location that I wanted to test is a cable car stations on either end of a pretty big hill. I wanted to see if cable cars are more used useful than building a road up the side of the hill and down the other side. Now that all of my cable cars are in place, it's time to check the numbers and determine if cable cars are worth it or not. I checked the downtown numbers again and they seem to have balanced out a bit but they still bring in really good numbers. The cable car crossing the river near the airport is doing better than I expected. The cable car closest to the airport is doing worse than I expected. Finally, the one going over the hill is doing about what I expected. Now that we've gathered all of our experimental data, we must ask ourselves the question, are cable cars actually good? Yes! In certain circumstances. I think cable cars excel in areas where pedestrian walkability is compromised. Examples include freeway crossings, river crossings, passing over hills, things like that. Where cable cars fail is when pedestrian walkability is unaffected. This would include cable cars along roads with sidewalks, alongside bridges crossing the rivers, and probably near other forms of transportation that are going to the same place. Remember, if you'd like your name within my city, all you have to do is leave a comment stating what you'd like and be subscribed to the channel, just like GPC by Tim did. Thank you, Tim, and as requested, I will name this green city's area near my downtown Tim's Bob Ross Towers. Hope you like the name. I know you're still here. I highly recommend you check out this video where I build a massive park in my pedestrians only city.